Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the series Mad About Python and this is the 14th video in this series and in this video we will be seeing something really interesting and cool. We are going to build Windows message pop-ups in Tkinter and Python. You have seen in Windows you have a, a, a text box message or a pop-up and then you have a yes or no message, you have warning messages, you have error messages. So we will see how you can create all four types now in windows you can see there are many types of pop-ups like you have an error pop-up you have warning pop-up you have yes or no okay cancel pop-ups so in this first part i'll be giving you an example for show information pop-up but you can skip ahead a little bit in this video and you can see i have executed all the four types or five types of pop-ups which is available in tkinter so we will be starting with the first pop-up which is show info pop-up. For that uh, guys you have to import message box in tkinter. So you have to add from tkinter import message box. Simple. So once you have done that you can go ahead and uh, if you see in windows the pop-up occurs only when you have done something. Like you click a file which is uh, not uh, readable in the windows it will throw an error message something like that so you click something and then it happens so we'll be doing the same thing here in tkinter you create a button and you click the button and the pop-up message appears so we create a button b1 and by using button you want this inside root and the text for this button is uh, let's give it pop-up and then command because it's a button command also pop up and then we pack this so b1 dot pack so your button is ready now you have given pop up as the command so let's just define it here so we go def pop up and inside pop up there's a keyword in tkinter as message box because you have imported message box here so you can take full advantage of this library so you can give message box right here message box and the first one is show error as you can see here guys in my vs code you have the options to choose which pop-up you want like ask questions ask ok cancel such that it will give you option to choose ok or cancel in the pop-up window ask yes or no show warning show error show info so we'll just use show info for now you can see in the next part where i have executed all the five buttons so show info and then it will take two parameter guys you want to give the widget name so i'll go window new window uh, new window and then the next after the comma will be the message which will be shown in the pop-up box so we'll just give hello and I'll just run this file and here you have your widget with the button pop-up and if I click this pop-up you can see her hello as the message and the new window as the title and you can click OK and this will go you can click here again and it comes back so that was show info now we will see all types of pop-up messages using tkinter so to use all the pop-ups we have to define the functions five times i mean four more times so i'll just go ahead and reutilize this part again so just paste it like this and one more time Okay, so this one will be your first pop-up. I'll just rename this as pop-up1 because you can't give the same function names here. Pop-up2, this will be pop-up4, this will be pop-up5. Oh yeah, we missed pop-up3. Okay, so you have uh, your five pop-ups ready. The first one will be of type show info and I'm going to change this one. And the second type will be show error. This will be a new type of pop-up and the third one we will change is to ask okay or cancel and this one will change it to ask questions and the last one will be ask yes or no 
now we have used all five types here so let's make five buttons also such that for each pop-up you will have a, a unique button you can press so i'll just copy this again four more times mm, one more yeah so you're good and in this you have to change button one and then this one to button two and this one to button three this one to three again you have to change this to four this one to five and this one to five you have packed all your buttons and text uh, remains same let's just change this text this will be button one and we'll change this to button two button two i'll just change all others uh, this one this one and this one button two this will be button three and this one will be button four and last one button five now you have five unique buttons and pop-up also you have to change because you have defined five times here so the first one will be the first pop-up one and uh, this one will be pop-up two pop-up three pop-up four and pop-up five great now your commands are set and uh, you have your five buttons also ready here then okay but we have packed all of them mm, let's just remove the packing we want to use the grid i mean <laughs> we have learned how to use grid now and we have mastered it also so i'll go here b1 button and use the grid and i'll give row as zero and column mm, column let's give it to one here okay we'll just change the rows and keep the columns same. okay so i'll just paste this four more times change the button as two this one to three to four and last one will be five now column will remain the same it will look nice if all are in the same column we have to change the row different rows great so we have done that what else is left okay the message will be the same so okay or cancel fine let's click the fourth one ask yes or no you can see here ask question so that's a question mark yes or no and the last one is the same yeah yes or no with the question mark so that was all five kinds you can experience in tkinter all five kinds of pop-ups and uh, you can go ahead and change the elements by adding foreground, background, or you can grid them differently by using the gridding mechanism. Basically, that is it. And I'll see you in the next one.